God damn it. <laughs> That's going on the blooper. Hey, what's happening? YouTubers are back. The brand new action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Nightwing, part of the collect to build Beast Boy wave. Now I know what you're all are thinking. Another Nightwing? Well, this might be the best one so far. Let's find out. But like we always do with reviews, let's get started with the box art first. So it's your standard collect to build box that you'd get from McFarlane Toys. You see Beast Boy right there. And this is number one of the wave. And on the side is a DC Multiverse logo. Nightwing based on appearance in Titans. And then the McFarlane Toys logo on the bottom. And then, of course, you see all the different pieces of Beast Boy that you can get with the different figures. I initially had all these on pre-order, but I'm trying to scale back and be more responsible. <laughs> if you've seen my Instagram and see my recent purchases, you've seen I haven't really been doing a good job of that. But anyways, you have Nightwing, Donna Troy, Raven, and Arsenal part of this wave. I will probably slowly build these out as the year goes on if it goes a little bit cheaper on sale. But for right now, I just want a Nightwing and Raven. All right, that's enough about the box. Let's go and get Nightwing out of the box. All right, here's Nightwing out of the box. Let's take a look at his accessories first. And it's slim pickings because he really doesn't come with much apart from the standard stuff. But he has the collectible piece of Beast Boy, which is the torso. And just like all McFarlane Toys figures, he comes with the base plate. Got him. And just like all DC Multiverse figures, he comes with a data file card. Now here's the interesting thing. It's using the image that we got from the very first Nightwing figure from the collect build Batmobile. And that was the image of Nightwing from the Better Than Batman run, I believe. Whereas this figure is supposed to be based off his Titans run. I think it's Titans Together specifically. But yeah, it's funny that they use a completely different comic book reference for this. Just reusing the same image. That's kind of weird. I wish they would have actually used the actual source material. But anyways, on the back of the card is the data file. Feel free to pause it if you want to go ahead and read it. All right, now let's take a look at the figure itself. And we get started with the head sculpt first. And you know, I got to say, you know, the first thing I noticed, because I remember the podcast I did, it was an episode of Monday Night Toys I did with the Broken Bat. He said it kind of reminded him of The Rock when he was doing the people's eyebrow. I understood what they're going for. I just feel like the execution could have been a little bit better. Like, I, it has a better expression than the five-pack gold label Amazon exclusive, which, with all due respects to the sculptor, this one just, I don't know what they were going for with this Nightwing head sculpt, but this one looks a lot better. He kind of reminds me of Nathan Fillion, actually. <laughs> but, like I said, execution could have been a little bit better. I still appreciate the sculpting work of this, and I think this is based on his appearance in Titans Together. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below. But overall, I do like the head sculpt. It's just the eyes could have been sculpted a little bit better. And we'll take a look at the rest of the figure. This Nightwing is reusing the Future State Superman Jonathan Kent body mold, and I like that better than the previous one just for scaling purposes. This one will probably scale better in the collection with Batman and the other characters, but I do like this body mold a lot better. And when looking at the paintwork, I do like how they painted the pins. Obviously, they could have just left it black, but it would have stuck out real bad, so I like the effort there. The only thing I do wish is on these like faux butterfly joints slash like disc, they didn't actually paint this here whereas years past they've done it before on the nightwing figures you can see it on here they kind of painted it i kind of wish they would have done that with this nightwing figure too but it is what it is continuing on you can see there is a light blue trim around his shoes which is cool the only problem with mine it's a little splotchy i don't know if that's the case for all the other nightwing figures or just mine but one thing noticeably different is it doesn't have the holders for his scream sticks because he doesn't come with any accessories so of course there's no holders honestly i like this clean look however I understand there was like a little bit of criticism that he didn't have any accessories, especially those sticks. I'm okay with that. I just wish they would have at least given us open hands because this is a unique mold and paintwork. So if you swap the hands, you're going to have to either paint it or just do without this blue trim at the end of it, which again, I wish it would have come with this another set of hands if they're not going to give us the screaming sticks. Now we're just going to jump right into size comparisons and first size comparison. Here he is standing next to some other Nightwing figures we've gotten in the DC Multiverse line so far from McFarlane Toys. The only one missing is the collect build Batmobile version, but these two figures are essentially the same mold as that one, except for the head sculpt. And when seeing them all side by side, I tend to prefer this Titans version over the other ones, just because of scaling purposes, he's not as tall as them. And so I did do a head swap of the Amazon one and the Titans version. I just didn't pop that one all the way in, but I think it can work. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That looks a lot better than the head sculpt that came with it originally again. No disrespect to the sculptor who worked on this head sculpt, but compared to this one, I mean, come on, which one would you choose? 
The next head swap I tried was with the Gotham Knights one. The only problem is the blues don't exactly match, but I think it kind of work. All right, in this last head swap, I took the head sculpt from the Red Robin figure and put it on this Nightwing, and actually, I like this a lot. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but what's your all preference when it comes to Nightwing's mask? Do you prefer the black mask or the blue one? Because me personally, I prefer the black one, and I think this definitely works. The only problem is the skin tones don't match, but that's going to be easily fixed through post-processing and editing, but I prefer this look. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Next size comparison, here's Nightwing standing next to a couple other Bat family members, minus Red Hood. And this is why I prefer this Nightwing over the previous one, because if I take Damian Wayne out and put in the previous mold that they used before, you can see this Nightwing is on the same height as Batman, whereas the new one from the Titans, he kind of stands a little bit under Batman, but still taller than Batgirl. I still can't get over how tall Tim Drake is, but I'm not going to lose it like some other reviewers have. <laughs> I still appreciate this figure nonetheless. And last size comparison... <laughs> You guys really are going to get annoyed at this. <laughs> Anyways, here he is. Then the next two characters will no longer see in the live action cinemas, but you'll see them in my reviews. Here he is. Then the next a black Adam movie figure with a custom cloak and the Snyder Cut Justice League Target exclusive Superman. All right. Some overall thoughts on the figure is it's really good. Now, is this the best Nightwing figure that McFarlane Toys has given us? I would say yes. And it's a matter of preference, in my opinion. I prefer the cleaner look of his logo as opposed to the other ones we've gotten before. And the main thing for me is scaling. If it feels like I harp on scaling a lot in my reviews and give them a lot of criticism or feedback with scaling, it's because I genuinely enjoy the line and I like to see the line progress and succeed. And to me, this is a step in the right direction using that Jonathan Kent body mold for Nightwing because this one scales in comparison better with the other Batman figures in the collection than the previous Nightwing figures. Articulation-wise, it does move better than the other ones as well. The only downside is I wish they would have given us at least additional sets of hands, if for nothing. I don't really mind not getting the Escrima sticks, Additional sets of hands would have been nice just because, like I mentioned earlier, the blue paint on the hand is proprietary to this look in Titans. But yeah, sound off in the comments below, YouTubers. Let me know what you think about this figure. Will you be picking it up? Do you prefer this Nightwing over the other ones we've gotten so far from DC Multiverse line? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, if you like what you see, be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead, subscribe. Thanks for watching.